Hey guys! In this video we're making a snake knot lanyard with carabiner clip. You can choose how big you make the loop, making it for wrist or necklace size and that snake knot is the same on the front and back. Now you will need a stainless carabiner or clip and a length of paracord. For our design we're using 160 centimeters or 63 inches of paracord. Now we start by placing the ends together and following it back down to the middle. Placing the end through the carabiner and pulling this loop out a bit. I'm making mine about this size here for a full size lanyard. Once you've got the size of your loop figured out, we just fold it over the carabiner in that spot where you want the end of your loop to be. Now laying it down on a table with this loop in the middle and bringing one of the tails on each side. Now starting with our left side cord, we twist it underneath itself to form a loop. We want this loop to sit over those two cords going down the middle. And then with our right side cord, we're going to place it down the loop and bring it around to the left of all the other threads. And then place it back down the same loop. Gently working that knot nice and tight up against that carabiner to hold it secure. Pulling it nice and tight and making sure it's sitting nice and tidy and you've got one cord coming off each side of the loop. Now this is the front that we just did. So once that's nice and tight, we're going to swap it onto the opposite side. So bringing the back to the front. Then with this right side loop here, we gently loosen that up a bit, just big enough to fit another cord through. Now we bring our right side cord around the back and then place it down that loop that we loosened. Pulling it tight and gently working that knot down so it's nice and tidy. Now again we swap the back to the front and then loosen this loop on the bottom right hand side. Now bringing this right side cord all the way around and placing it down the loop. Pulling it nice and tight and tidy. Now again swapping that back to the front and then loosening that loop on the bottom right hand side. Bringing that right side cord around and placing it down that loop. Working your knot down nice and tight and tidy. You should start to see your snake knot design forming. So just keep working with your cords until they're sitting in the right positions. Then we swap the back to the front and continue with the same method. Loosening that right side bottom loop, bringing our right side cord around and placing it down the loop. It's up to you how far down your lanyard you make your snake knot. Just go until either you run out of cords or you're happy with the length of it. Once your snake knot is at the length you want it, then you can cut both of these tails off. I do one at a time and then just singe it with a lighter. Being really careful to only melt the end of your cord. And then I push on it with some scissors as well, just to fuse the end of that cord onto the knot. Repeating the same thing on this side as well, just being really careful to only melt that end. And there's your snake knot lanyard with carabiner. 